Inner Beam Trapi Unit has bunker design with maze entering to the radio trapi equipment. The shielding of treatment room is classified into primary barrier and secondary barrier. The primary barrier is used to shield primary beam. It is made up of 1.55 to 1.8 meter concrete. The secondary barrier is used to attenuate the leakage and scattered radiation. It is made up of 0.85 to 0.98 meter concrete. Shielding materials that can be used are lead, iron or steel, wood and concrete. But, concrete is the best use because it is cheap and self-supporting which is easy to use. Concrete is relatively thick barriers where it is required for mega voltage radiation. The door is constructed using heavy element material associated with interlock system. At outside of the door, a warning light is placed on top of the entrance to give warning sign during the treatment. The door can also be opened from inside and outside of with unexpected situation where someone such as physicist and radiation oncology is still inside of the treatment room. He or she can open the door from inside. The control panel is placed at this site which is properly shielded by primary and secondary barriers. At control panel, medical physicists can communicate with another physicist inside treatment room via intercom. It is called two-way communication. They also can monitor inside treatment room via closed circuit TV. Closed circuit TV play more important role to monitor position patient's procedure before treatment and patient's condition during the treatment. Emergency stop buttons are placed inside and outside of treatment room. In case the beam leakage from linear accelerator machine, emergency stop button can be used either from inside and outside.